Welcome to day 16 of the 28 day challenge. It seems like absolutely just since I've been here, um, but it can only be about five days. The time is flying, I told you it would. Um, we're at day 16, that means we've got 12 days left. It's under two weeks until the end of the challenge. I suppose progress, um, you know, uh, it's for me. It's actually been a bit trickier than I thought. You know, the first week went went absolutely stonking with six pounds down. Second week, two and a half pounds, um, not bad. But if I'm honest, it's been pretty tricky because I've been doing quite a bit of exercise. So just to to, to give you a taster, first week really done just the basics of ten thousand steps. I didn't do much running because I was catching up from the marathon. I think I'd done something like maybe a three kilometer and a six kilometer. That was it. Um, no Alex sessions, or maybe I've done one Alex session because Alex is, uh, is on holiday. So not a lot of exercise. For me, I'm normally doing seven sessions a week, five running, two gym. I was down to, um, that was taking me down to uh, three sessions, which is less than half what I was doing. So it was fine because I was surviving on that 600 uh, calories per day. Um, it it kind of worked. Second week, I knew I had a big weekend because I had the 5k colour run. I knew that'd be a fun run, but you still got to move. And the second thing was the Lymington 10k, which I knew uh, my friend and mentor, Lisa Thatcher, who got me into running, this was the event that we'd focused on all those months back, seven months back, when she said, you should try this 10k. And this was the, the one event I was after. So the Lymington 10k, I knew we'd want to bust that in an hour, in under an hour. So it means you've got to do a reasonable pace somewhere north of uh, 10 kilometres per hour. So as a result of that, I started carving a bit more towards the, the, the tail end of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, carbon meant, you know, had some uh, like quinoa, which was really good because it's got lots of protein in it as well. Um, I was relying on the builders bars, my shakes, but I was also feeding back in my porridge. Um, I had bagel. Uh, some brown bread, some sandwiches, you know, egg sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, things like that. Normal food, nothing particularly bad or, or, or you know, bad for you or processed. All good stuff. But the problem is you, you're coming out of ketosis so you're going back into normal weight loss. Normal weight loss, if you think about it, you need to lose, for one pound of body fat, it's three and a half thousand calories. That would mean over a week you would have a 500 calorie deficit. So if you were 500 calories every day, say for me on average I'm about 2,500 calories, I need to stop at 2,000. The 2,000 would give me a one pound weight loss. So I've been surviving around about that 600 in the first week, which was giving me, and, and expending about two and a half, it was giving me almost a 2,000 calorie weight loss. Over seven days was 14,000 calories, hence the big weight loss. It is actually a numbers game. But your brain's involved, so that's the bit that kind of makes you want to eat other stuff to survive. So, um, what I found last week, I was probably surviving, oh, I was probably somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 calories a day. And again, towards the end of the week is when the activity kicked in. So, over the weekend, I'd done the 5k, the 10k, then on Monday, I'd done a spin class, circuits, 3k run, and then a half hour bike ride so it was a fair amount of activity on Monday so I'm definitely burning the calories from the exercise but what I'm not getting is that ketosis part so with less than two weeks to go what I've got to do is slip back into ketosis um, although my mar my half marathon training started on Sunday and my first three kilometer run is tonight but it's fairly low level so I should be able to get back into ketosis Sorry about the big long explanation, but it has been a while since I've seen you and I just want to get you up to speed. It's still going down, which is fantastic, you know, so in all we've got eight and a half off, which is pretty good over a two week period. Um, good averages. Um, am I going to make the 20? Who knows? I'm going to do my absolute best to get as near to it as I can, if not bust it. But we'll see. So stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow, day 17.